Today it's my pleasure to present you the significance of incorporating a 3D process in decoding process for data coming from a 1D subsurface. As a preliminary study, our discussion and tests will focus on Toad Streamer. And we believe that incorporating a 3D point source will uh, have the potential to um, improve the effectiveness for the deghosting um, for uh, OPC and the onshore data also in the future. Okay, this slide here <coughs> shows you the seismic processing tree studied by MOSRP group. And uh, this presentation focuses on the topic which aims to remove the ghost from your data. Why would we like to deghost the hover data? The first is deghosting the data can um, can remove the notches in your data spectrum, will which will help you achieve the broadband objectives, especially for deep receivers like the OPC data, as shown by my um, Jing, uh, by my colleague Jing Wu. And the second is as uh, you have already. Um, seen in this uh, processing tree, um, we need this um, um, re the, go the deghosted data uh, which can provide um, the satisfactory pre prerequisites for the subsequent processings. For example, the free surface multiple removal and the internal multiple removal. Among all the deghosting methods, the Green Serum derived deghosting method, which is part of the Green Serum preprocessing method, has a long history with continued high interest in the, this topic itself and uh, in achieving greater capability. So, the left uh, uh, column here shows you the historic work um, done before uh, 2015. Uh, Mm, which uh, progressed the uh, um, green serum preprocessing method, and uh, the right column here shows you the progresses made by MRSRP in this academic year. And uh, my topic will focus on incorporating a 3D point source to improve the effectiveness of your deghosting method. Speaking of improving the effectiveness, we would like to incorporate a more realistic realism in your uh, assumption. Here, we would like to point out in a deghosting task, it's more realistic to assume a 3D point size. However, a complete uh, method has certain data requirements for a specific source dimension. Here, since we mentioned a 3D point size, in a complete 3D deghosting method, which assumes a 3D point size in that we need uh, the, the receiver uh, 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 area coverage of all the receivers for one shot gather. What we did here is we start from a complete 3D green serum deghosting theory and then reduce the earth from 3D to 1D. There are two contributions are, that are provided by this reduced algorithm. The first is for 3D point source data, this reduced algorithm can accommodate the, both the horizontal and the non-horizontal cable for deghosting. The second is for certain sub, a sub, a surface, here we assume a 1D subsurface, which is a reasonable assumption for many circumstances like uh, Central North Sea. Our reduced algorithm does not require as much as a complete 3D algorithm requires. In other words, this reduced algorithm only requires one shot gather with off and shooting. First, uh, let me briefly um, introduce you the basic idea of the green serum derived deghosting method, which is pioneered by Dr. Wigline in 2002, uh, Dr. Jingfeng Zhang and Wigline in 2005. Here, let me show you a typical marine environment for an example where the air gun is in the water column. For the specific um, task of uh, deghosting, we choose the whole space water as the reference medium. <coughs> in this reference medium, the air, air gun, and the earth becomes sources terms. And uh, in this description, all the sources terms explodes, which means only all the going wave comes out of these sources. And uh, no matter how complicated uh, your, source, uh, your uh, sources terms is, 
if a proper volume can be chosen, green serum will help you separate the wave field contribution from different sources. Again, for this um, specific um, object about the ghosting, we choose a hemisphere above the measurement surface to be the volume. And green serum can predict um, the, at any point inside this volume due to the uh, contribution, uh, go due to the source's contribution outside this volume. As uh, we shown, one point inside this volume is this uh, output point, this output point by this uh, yellow color here. And uh, if this output point is above the measurement surface and uh, below this um, uh, air gun, we can see that uh, the only uh, the only outgoing contribution comes from uh, the uh, Earth's term. And uh, both the air and the air gun contributes the downward, uh, downgoing, compo uh, downgoing wave field components in your, re in your data. After applying the green serum derived deghosting method, only the contribution from the Earth left in in your data set, which means it can predict the, the wave field above the measurement surface without the downgoing components, which are the receiver side ghost and the direct wave. So we give you a new data above your measurement surface without ghost and the receiver side, uh, without ghost and the direct wave. So go back to the emphasis of this talk. Um, I will introduce you the reduced 3D point cells 1D subsurface green serum derived the deghosting method for both the horizontal cable and the non-horizontal cable and the show the numerical results for them respectively. First, let's take a look at the, the reduced algorithm for horizontal cable and its numerical test. Okay, this slide shows you a complete 3D algorithm, 3D deghosting algorithm, which assumes a 3D point source and a 3D earth in it. So uh, this algorithm was first proposed by Dr. Wigeland in 2002 and Dr. Jin Feng Zhan the Wigeland in 2005 in the um, uh, Cartesian coordinates, which means um, all the variables here are, are expressed by x, y, z. And uh, we can see the um, double integral inside this formula here requires an area coverage of all the receivers for P and the grad P and the, um, and the derivative of P. Um, so um, in here, um, without, the, without changing the dimension of the source and the dimension of the Earth, we can rewrite this formula in the cylindrical coordinates, which use the R theta Z instead of X, Y, Z to express this, express this formula. So until now, we did not change the um, assumption of the source and the earth, right? So the area coverage of receiver still required. Well, as long as we reduce the earth dimension from a 3D earth to a 1D earth, our data does not care about the um, azimuth angle theta, which means it only cares about the offset along the radial direction and the frequency. As long as these two variables are fixed, this uh, data set is fixed. So um, we go back to this uh, formula here. We can see that uh, this p and the grad p come out of the integral over the azimuth angle. And uh, only the integral over the um, radial direction x uh, works for this uh, p and the grad p. So that means our data uh, requirements can be reduced from an area coverage of all the receivers to only one line coverage of all the receivers. Okay? And then we go back to the integral over the uh, azimuth angle. We can see that this integral over the angle part only act on the 3D Green's function and its derivative, which, um, are, which are highlighted by this uh, red color here. And these two parts can be calculated out and um, prepared even before you starting your deghosting process. And the tabulate these two parts will, uh, will make the reduced algorithm cost less. If you are interested in this part, I refer you to my report. 
The other point that we would like to point out is if you do the Hankel transform over the space variable r here, you can get the conventional 3D points as um, PVZ degaussing method. So for a horizontal um, measurement surface, these two methods, they are equivalent. The, PV, the conventional 3D point size PVZ method um, involves the uh, Hankel transform and the inverse Hankel transform. So as we all know, an effective Hankel transform needs the, um, an adequate sampling and, uh, uh, the, um, and the experiment on a horizontal uh, measurement surface. Well, the uh, reduced uh, green serum, um, uh, the reduced uh, green serum degaussing method stays in the space frequency domain, which allows the accommodation of both the horizontal and the non-horizontal cable. So again, for horizontal cable, these two methods they are equivalent. But for a non-horizontal cable, our reduced algorithm can provide you more capability and the combination of the uh, non-horizontal cable will be discussed later in this talk. First, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, I need to escape this uh, first. Well, okay. Okay. Here we here we go. <coughs> so first, let me show you a synthetic three D point source data we generated for evaluating the effectiveness of the reduced algorithm uh, for the data um, on the uh, horizontal cable first. <laughs> Here is the model we used to generate the 3D point source data. Um, we can see that uh, we used uh, uh, different colors to indicate, indicate uh, uh, different, uh, the, the different properties of the Earth. Uh, we used uh, bo uh, uh, both uh, velocity density varying uh, layered model here. And uh, our source point is located uh, 12 meters below the free surface. And uh, our acquisition line is located at uh, the mm, 35 meters depth. And our output line, at, as we discussed before, is, um, is, uh, is output a little bit above this acquisition line, which is uh, located at the 32 meters depth. Some, um, Synthetic, uh, some um, parameters we used in this synthetic modeling uh, has been shown in this box here. Uh, here we used the reflectivity method to generate this 3D point source data with the four meters um, uh, radius uh, sampling interval. And uh, here we give the, um, pre uh, and the give the p and the its deriv derivative as input. Uh, in practice, uh, these two measurements can be obtained by a GL streamer. So this slide uh, shows you the uh, synthetic data we got um, um, using the previous uh, model we show you. And uh, we um, show you the um, input uh, cable shape, the uh, contents of uh, the uh, figure, the name of the figure, and the, the, the cable depth and the source depth and at, the, uh, at the top um, on every slide uh, by these labels. OK, continue by. Um, Go back to this data set. We can see in this data set we have both direct wave and its ghost. And also we have all the primary and the multiples and the with their um, corresponding ghosts. This ghosts including receiver side ghost, south side ghost, and south receiver side ghost. Again, I would like to remind you that our, our input is, on, even though I show you the two set, uh, um, two set data, our input is only one streamer with off and shooting, which uh, means we only input half of this data set we're showing you here. And uh, 
here I will only show you the receiver side ghosting result and uh, this reduction idea actually is very easy to extend it to um, source side deghosting which will not be discussed in this, uh, in this presentation. And uh, in this uh, uh, receiver side deghosting, we can see this, uh, this here, this slice list uh, all the events you have in your original data. After the receiver side deghosting, we hope the direct wave and its ghost and the receiver side ghost and the source receiver side ghost are gone. And the only the primary and the multiple events with their source side, corresponding source side ghost left in your data because they are the up, uh, upgoing components at your receiver. Again, here is the data set. We keep the track of uh, the direct wave and its ghost. And the for first uh, primary event and its, uh, and, uh, its correlating um, ghost events. After the deghosting, here is the result. We can see that all the, the, go, the direct wave and its ghost and the receiver side and south side, uh, south and receiver side ghost are gone. Only the primary and its um, source uh, side goes uh, left in your um, data set. To further evaluate uh, this, uh, e evaluate this result, we uh, synthetically uh, generated the the, um, the the upgoing components at the receiver, which is shown here. We can flip back and forth. We can see that we can hardly see the difference, which means the re the reduced uh, algorithm provide you an ef uh, effective result uh, for this uh, receiver side deghosting. Let me remind you, um, this reduced uh, uh, algorithm only requires one streamer with off and shooting, but it provides the result as effective as a complete 3D, point, 3D algorithm can pro produce. Okay, that's Go jump to, uh, let's move to the next topic, which is the reduced algorithm for the non-horizontal cable and, uh, do the, and the show you the numerical tests. We can see uh, this uh, reduced algorithm can effectively accommodate the non-horizontal cable also uh, in this section. So um, here is the formula we used to um, accommodate the non-horizontal cable uh, um, which is also the 3D point source data. We can see, see that uh, compared, uh, compared to the formula we showed you before, there is only one factor different, which is here. And this factor involves a, um, F, uh, of, uh, involves a function with uh, respect to R prime, which is the uh, depth, um, the cable shape represents the depth variable cable the cable shape given by this uh, uh, F function. So uh, besides the P and the its derivative, we need one more thing to add the input. Uh, it's the sh cable shape here, as we show here. Let me first show you the synthetic data we used to uh, evaluate the commendation of a uh, uh, non-horizontal streamer. Here is the model we used uh, to generate the data, which is a pretty simple model. Then the first layer, um, the, um, uh, the velocity is uh, 1500 meters per second, and the second layer is uh, 2200 uh, meters per second. And uh, we can see that uh, this uh, curve, the blue dashed line, is our acquisition line, and we output this um, data, the ghost data above this acquisition line, which is shown by this uh, red dash line here at the depth 20 meters. Again, here the, this box shows you some parameters we use for synthetic data, and uh, we, 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 we still use the, um, we again use the uh, reflectivity method to generate this 3D point source data with the uh, 3.25 meters as the uh, sampling interval along the R direction. And uh, as we discussed before, besides the P and the grad P, we, we need uh, the uh, shape of the non-horizontal cable as input. Here is the data we generated uh, by the uh, model we just show you, uh, which contains one direct wave and its ghost, 
and the primary and its uh, receiver side goes. Here we only uh, generate these uh, four events to show you that the uh, simple is the test. Again, here we only, uh, same as before, we only need to input one streamer with the off and shooting, not the two side data. By the, by the receiver side deghosting process, we can see that the direct wave and its ghost and the receiver side ghost of the primary should disappear uh, in, our, in our result. Only the primary event left. Here is the data we generated on this uh, curved cable, which uh, contains these four events. This is the result after we output the, uh, we, uh, this is the output we um, located at the, uh, above this uh, curved cable which only contains one, um, primar uh, one primary event. To uh, further evaluate this result, we successfully generated this um, primary event at the same depth, which is shown here. This is the simulation. This is the result. This is the simulation. This is the result. We can see it's hard to tell any difference. So um, until now, we can, um, we can see that uh, this reduced algorithm can uh, effectively uh, commentate the non-horizontal cable as the input and uh, give you uh, the, the ghosted result out, out at the out in the output. Here are, uh, at the end, here are some key points I would like you to take away. The first is this project contributes to green serum derived deghosting capability by including uh, incorporating the realism of a 3D point source and reduce the data requirement and the computational cost for the data coming from a, a subsurface close to 1D. And uh, this reduced algorithm can, um, can accommodate both the horizontal and the non-horizontal cable here. And this project also benefit the project of deghosting your data exactly on your table, not above, which will be presented by my colleague Jingwu, Zhenzhang, and Yu Chang later. Thank you. Any questions?